Uh, recently in the in the news, there was a, a story about an Orthodox Jewish basketball player who uh, became who was able to play in like the minor leagues of the NBA, and a lot of people are very excited about it because he's Shomer Shabbat. He doesn't break any of the laws of Shabbat, but but he does play basketball on Shabbos. Is that something we should we can we can look at as a Kiddush Hashem? Is that something we should be proud of? Or is that how, how, how are we supposed to do that? The question is twofold, really. Um, is it a Kiddush Hashem that he wears his yarmulke on the court? And should we be looking up at him, at him as a hero? And is he really Shomer Shabbat if he goes to work on Shabbos by playing? <laughs> well, maybe he doesn't get paid for Shabbos. Maybe he doesn't take the money for it. I think that's a mixed feelings, I would say. The first time I heard about this, I never heard this before. By Sandy Koufax, I'm still in that generation. You know, didn't play in the World Series. Uh, the pitcher, that was him, Kipper. Uh, that wasn't on the regular Shabbos. Yeah, okay, but whatever it was that he made the Kiddush Hashem by doing that, he wouldn't play altogether. Sandy Kipper, even uh-huh. though they were very angry at him, his team because he was a he was a pitcher there, right? Sandy was a pitcher. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this person, uh, but he's playing. So I say it's, it's mixed feelings I have towards him myself. That's very nice. He won't do anything wrong on Shabbos. Maybe he walks to the place to, to play. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, do anything wrong. But playing ball itself is not uh, 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 it's considered that Michal uh, Shabbos and profaning Shabbos. But it's not the thing to do on Shabbos. It's not the right. So on Shabbos, supposed to be studying Torah and uh, keeping the laws of Torah, eating, eating or or ending Shabbos and enjoying Shabbos with different ways. It's not considered the, the right thing to do, playing ball in Shabbos in front of everybody. So it's, it's he's doing something right and something wrong. He's, he's right by not, not doing any other things in Shabbos that he's not allowed to do. But that in itself is something they shouldn't be doing. So, so do we hold him up as a hero? Do we say it's Kiddush Hashem? He's doing Tuesday at one time. He's, for some people, it's, it's going to be a great effect on many people who are not religious. Seeing this person as a religious person, he doesn't do anything wrong in Shabbos, but they're not seeing the full amount of what a Jew, Jew is supposed to do in the Shabbos. It's not, it's, he's doing something which is, a, a great extent, very good, but he hasn't made it yet to the full extent yet. Let's hope that after a while, he will come to the next step to say, I'm not playing on Shabbos altogether. And that'll be really Kiddush Hashem. So making it a, a partial Kiddush Hashem, but not the full amount that it should be doing. So uh, let God decide if, if, if he's good altogether. Maybe for him, maybe he's considered like he's doing the best he can. And that's up to God to decide he's doing the best he can. But as far as we're concerned, he's doing something good, but it's like a, like a rich man. A poor person comes to a millionaire. And he says, I want, I need charity. I have to marry off my daughter. He can he can pay for the whole wedding. It's easy for him to return. It cost him $20,000 to pay for the wedding. He can he gives him $10,000. So, oh, so it's nice $10,000 people. Yeah, but look at that. He, he can afford, he can do more. Why the only 10? Why not 20? So he's doing something good, but it's not to full extent. So in the one way, people praise him for giving the 10, but they criticize him for not giving the 20. He can afford the same thing over here. He's doing something very good by not came and doing, doing things out, you're not allowed to do on Shabbos, but he's not doing the full extent that he, that he should be doing, or he could be doing, should be doing, we don't know, God will decide, but could be doing more than that. So we look at him uh, in a limited way of Kiddush Hashem, but there's more to be accomplished. Don't listen, don't listen. Who can I call? 